Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make an E to turn a light on and off. Just before the video begins, I would just like to say 92.2% .2 of you guys are not subscribed. If you want to see more Roblox Studio videos like these, make sure to consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so you can be the first one to be notified every single time I upload a new video. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure your Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, you want to click on the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. Once you've enabled Explorer and Properties, you now want to insert your two parts. So for this tutorial, this will be our switch. So we'll just go and size it down, but you can go and adjust it to whatever you want, and we'll change the color to a red, just so that we can easily identify on what the switch is. Now we want to go and insert another part. And now this is going to be our light. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to be putting it like that so that the light will be shining down. So this will be our switch and this will be our light. Now inside where our light will be, we want to go and rename this part to whatever. For this tutorial, I'm just going to be calling this light because this is going to be our light. And then now that we've renamed the part, we want to click on the plus button and insert a point light. Now this is going to be what is showing the actual light. So so you can actually see and adjust it to however you want. You can go and change the light time or the daytime in Roblox Studio to uh, late at night. So let's do 11 p.m. We now can go and adjust this point line to how bright we want it. So as you guys can see, it's got a bit of a faint light right, right there, but we're gonna go and set it to four so that we can easily see it. And we'll go set the range to 16. As you guys can see, now it is very obvious on where the light is. Now you can go and rename the point line. It doesn't really matter. But for this tutorial, all I'm going to be changing is the brightness and the range. And now for default, I'm going to be disabling this, basically turning it off so that it is not currently active. Now inside our switch part, we want to click on that and we want to go and insert a, uh, a proximity prompt by clicking the plus button and inserting a proximity prompt. Now this is going to be the thing that you click E on. So in our proximity prompt, I'm going to go and set the hold duration to one and I'm going to be changing the action text to say on. So basically when a player is in distance of this, they can click E and the text will say on where they can turn on the light. And when the light is active, the text will say off, basically meaning they can turn off the light. Now you don't have to adjust anything else here. You can just leave it how it is. Then you want to go over to your proximity prompt and you want to click on the plus button and insert a script. So now that you've inserted the script into the proximity prompt, you want to go down to the description of this video copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. Now we want to go and change a couple things here. So on line two where it says local part equals game.workspace, we are basically identifying on what our part is or our light part is called. So the light that is holding the actual light is what we want to change this area to here. So we're going to go and change this to uh, our light, which is going to be light, our part light. We're going to be changing that there. And now, depending if you changed your point light name, you want to go and change the name of your light to there. So the main thing is that you want to make sure is that you have the correct naming correctly. So game.workspace.light, which is going to be our light part. And then our point light, which is going to be the light, which is actually shining down, is correct. Please make sure that the naming is correct. So now that you've done that, you can go and adjust anything else in here on what you want the text to say. But for default, we're going to leave it on on and off. But once you've gone and adjusted everything, you want to go up to the X button up here, close, and then you want to go over to the play button up here to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base plate and yeah, it's dark, very dark. But the moment we go and get close to the E button, as you guys can see, it says on. And if we go hold down E for one second, the light will now turn on and I forgot to anchor it so it stays in the sky, but you can kind of see that the light is on. Make sure to anchor your parts. But as you guys can see now, while the light is on, we can now click E to turn the light off. So if we hold down that, the light will now turn off. E to turn it on, E to turn it off. If you guys wanted to support me to the extra mile, super thanks and being a member on my channel is an option. Super thanks is located just below the video and to become a member, you can click the join button next to the subscribe button located below the video. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up for the video here. If you'd enjoy, I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.